Before we dive into the statement, it is important to first understand what particle accelerators are. The Gigantic Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets. It is the world's largest and most powerful particle smasher, representing the peak of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's so powerful that it could recreate the conditions of the first moments of the universe. Yet could this machine, designed to uncover the secrets of the universe, hold the key to something much more? 34 seconds. CERN, founded in 1954, is one of the world's most renowned research organizations. With 23 member states and countless scientists, it is a center for collaboration and development. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it is just one part of a vast network of particle accelerators and experiments. Imagine a course, not for vehicles or planes, but for subatomic particles, in a test of expertise, perseverance, and even the fabric of space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that replicates the energy of the universe at the moment of the Big Bang. 1 minute and 10 seconds. The effects create temperatures many times hotter than the core of the Sun. An array of magnets guides the protons on their journey, while complex cooling systems maintain temperatures colder than space. The beam inside the LHC is designed to crash at four locations around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each detector has a unique purpose, investigating different aspects of particle physics. Together, these detectors act as colossal cameras, capturing images of these collisions. Researchers then sift through the debris, looking for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other particles that may reveal the universe's fundamental building blocks. By focusing on the microcosm, we gain insights into the universe. However, with each answer comes another question, and with every discovery, another test arises. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument, it is a demonstration of human curiosity and progress. It embodies our relentless drive for knowledge and our desire to understand the key forces that shape the universe. However, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of exploring the unknown? Could our quest for understanding unintentionally unleash forces beyond our control? 2 minutes and 53 seconds. In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the limits of human knowledge are constantly tested, a revelation has emerged that has left even the most prepared scientists uneasy. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and an expert in particle physics, recently made a statement that both captivated and unsettled the world. His words resonate with chilling clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a small-scale Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. Cox also discussed the implications of this objective, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for making groundbreaking discoveries, such as unlocking the secrets of the Higgs boson and exploring dark matter, a mysterious substance that constitutes much of the universe. 3 minutes and 58 seconds. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to conjure the very essence of the universe. It is an alluring prospect, but one fraught with risk. The miniaturized Big Bang is not a hypothetical concept, it is a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, pressures, and raw energy inside the LHC replicate the conditions that existed at the birth of the universe. It is like standing at the dawn of history, witnessing the birth of existence itself. However, with such power comes immense responsibility, and the question remains, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go terribly wrong back in 1978. Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a catastrophe that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Dubna, Russia, a misfire caused a proton beam to strike him directly. The beam passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Despite the horrific injury, Bugorsky remained conscious, even walking to a treatment center. His intellectual faculties remained intact, though the beam caused localized tissue damage, leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the immense power and potential dangers of particle accelerators. 5 minutes and 6 seconds. The risks associated with a particle smasher like the LHC are not to be underestimated. 
the potential for unexpected reactions and for altering the very fabric of existence are not just the stuff of science fiction, but real concerns voiced by respected scientists. One of the most disturbing and intriguing concerns related to the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. These cosmic entities are vacuum cleaners, devouring stars and mysterious forces lurking in the depths of the universe. 5 minutes and 39 seconds. The idea that the LHC could potentially create such an entity, even on a small scale, is staggering to both the public and scientists alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, eventually consuming the Earth from within? Scientists at CERN have assured the public that any black hole created would be unstable and would disappear quickly. Nevertheless, this remote possibility has sparked fear, speculation, and awe at the power we wield. 6 minutes and 12 seconds. Understanding how the LHC could create a black hole involves the basic principles of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so enormous that it bends the fabric of space-time itself. Think of a trampoline stretched tight, and then dropping a heavy object onto it. The fabric bends, and if the object is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. This is a simplified analogy for what could happen at the LHC, where, in the realm of quantum physics, the laws of the universe behave in strange and wondrous ways. 6 minutes and 43 seconds. There is a theory that extra dimensions may exist within our reality, hidden from view. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's experiments could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a small black hole. This strange behavior has caught the attention of some prominent scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, he warned that the Higgs boson could become unstable at extremely high energy levels, leading to catastrophic vacuum decay, an event that would not just destroy the Earth, but could potentially destroy the entire universe. 7 minutes and 16 seconds. Sir Martin Rees, a renowned English cosmologist and astrophysicist, also expressed concerns about experiments at CERN in his book Our Final Hour, Exploring the Future of Humanity. His words were not just precautionary, they were filled with existential fear. He described a worst-case scenario where a failed experiment could create vacuum instability, triggering a phase transition that would ripple through space-time, potentially engulfing the entire universe. Rees assigned a low probability to these disastrous outcomes, but he argued that even a small possibility should be taken seriously. The stakes are extraordinarily high, and the margin for error is razor-thin. As the LHC continues to operate, new questions emerge from the shadows of what we thought we understood. What lies beyond the Higgs boson? Could dark matter be composed of particles that only reveal themselves through the rarest of interactions? Might the universe harbor symmetries we've never imagined, hidden behind the veil of dimensions curled too tightly to see? In a quiet control room beneath the French-Swiss border, scientists gather around glowing monitors, their eyes trained on streams of data flowing in real time. Each spike and dip represents not just particles, but possibilities, alternate realities, theoretical models, hopes, and fears. Some are young, fresh out of university. Others are veterans who have dedicated their lives to this search. All are united by a singular drive, to uncover the truth. And then, one day, an anomaly. It begins as a subtle irregularity, a blip in a collision pattern during a run of high-energy tests. At first, it's dismissed as a calibration error. But it repeats. Not just once, but in sequence. Data analysts, theorists, and engineers converge, each offering perspectives, equations, and simulations. The anomaly does not conform to any known physical model. It whispers of something entirely new. Theoretical physicist Dr. Lena Moreau, who had once worked on early models of supersymmetry, is called in. Her face, drawn and weary, lights up with an expression only those in the grip of discovery understand. This, this might not be from our universe, she murmurs. Suddenly, the anomaly becomes the epicenter of a new scientific storm. Some claim it could be evidence of quantum entanglement with another dimension. Others suggest a phase fluctuation in the vacuum energy, a ripple from a deeper, more fundamental layer of reality. But then something strange happens. External instruments, far from CERN, begin to register inexplicable disturbances, subtle variations in gravitational readings, neutrino fluxes behaving unpredictably, 
a slight but measurable change in the fine structure constant. It's no longer confined to the collider. The outside world begins to notice. Governments are briefed. Security protocols are heightened. Rumors leak. The media swarms with speculation. Has CERN opened a portal? New particle or new universe? In the silence of late hours, some scientists begin to ask a terrifying question. What if the experiment has already begun to alter reality, and we haven't noticed yet?